that's nothing guys, at least you didn't have to wear your boots, so don't do nothing running around, finding and delivering everything, and then, hey, that's what I had to do, some guard named Rick want me to go fetch him a healing potion, oh Rick, yes, I know him well, you will think his arm was made of glass, the way he breaks it all the time, I'm surprised all the targets hasn't collapsed around us, and Dilligmar here, tell him what you had to do, it is more going. Ah, you did that right, think Eligmar. Based on some of the stories I have heard, we got off easy. At least you didn't have to go after a rabbit wolf in Skirnshender shop like that poor fool in Isheon years back. Ah, what did they have Eligmar do? Oh, they had him battle a score of illusionary warriors to test his combat skills. Thing is, Eligmar went straight for the illusionist, punched him in the gut and that beat him over the head with a shield. Took out all, took out all of the illusions though. Hmm. Ah, it's a shame though that Eligmar wanted to loot the bodies of the illusionary warriors and get their equipment, but all of them went up into air. <laughs> Just like an illusionist. I see, but all of these fetch and curry segments end after a while. Eh, uh, well... Hmm. No. But they help you build character, I think, something like that. I know, I have made out like a bandit when I was clearing out those rides. I made five gold easy. <laughs> I see, five gold easy, that doesn't seem like much. I well, maybe not for you, or to you, but it was a king's ransom to me. Just keep your eyes open and listen to what people tell you to do, and you'll get into the swing of things. I see, well, I'll... I should better get back into the swing of things. One last thing, if they send you on any stupid missions to the dogs, see if you can find that runner, Steve Thomas, that boy will get you around targets faster than the wind, he will save, your, save you some time as long as you can sell him on the fact or your own official business. Alright, I'll look for him then. Interesting. Another soldier. Labels. Cadence. Oh, that's cadence. Oh, that's it, cadence. You're almost headed. If you were trying to shoot the moon, that is. I'm going to wipe that green of your face, you juggle. God, that gold, that gold's as good as mine. One more arrow and I'll send it tumbling off that wall. We'll see, we'll see. No oh, greetings. We are just engaged in a bit of sport, no harm meant. So what are you doing? There is a barrel atop the wall just to the north of us. We might not be able to see it at the moment with that strange fork that comes up, but it's there. Well, my friend Cadence and I have a wager. Whoever is the first to knock that barrel from the wall wins the whole mom, mom, mom's wages. I, your wages, Cable, your wages. Fine tall cadence, but you have been waited for an hour now, and Taimora hasn't even so much as looked in your d direction. Those for gold are as good as mine. <laughs> Can I try this? Of course, cadence. Hold a moment, this mercenary wants to try the, his hand at knocking the barrel off. What say you, mercenary? For gold if you knock it from the wall? Um. He has a bow though. Or I can try to bargain. Um. I'm not sure how good his bow is. Now uh, maybe 50 and a uh, charming ring to it. Don't go on, take all the time you need. If you knock it from the wall, then you'll have won. <laughs> Stand back. Where is my archer? I suppose I get. Oh, alright. Oh, 
I know the routine. Show me a target, and I'll smash it. I suppose you'll be wanting your payment now. Uh, yeah, 50 gold, I believe. Um, about that, I don't really have that much. Um, then what do you have? Where I come from? We kill men who bet without gold. Well, um, wait, that longbow you're carrying. That could fetch a good amount of gold at the trade depot. Hand it over. Well, about that, you see, this bow was given to me by my father. And now you get to pass it on to me. Here you are, then take it. So it leaves me with almost nothing to my name. You still have your health, so don't push your luck. Farewell. <laughs> like this. Oh, this is plus one bow, actually, okay. And this is same one. TLB. Anyway, this is just a generic bow. Nothing special about this. Me? No worries. Now I have been seeing as satisfy as satisfying as someone wiping the jackal smile from Gabriel's face. It was a welcome sight to see. It was he can be a right less sometimes. <laughs> well sometimes the lesson is worth more than the winnings. Well teaching Gabriel a lesson was worth it. Here this is the gold I was going to have to pay Gable for not being able to topple that barrel. And here is extra extras for something to keep the chill off. <laughs> Same cadence. Next time don't take bets you can't win. What but good is gold? I he gave me actually. Not he gave me something. Better than nothing, I suppose. Yes. Yeah. On my way. Is that Genetic soul. Huh? Every time I run, I turn around, the ground is sprouting another crop of cell sorts. Have you a post to report to? If not, go to Shefford at the meeting house to the south. He can help you. Actually, he told us to report to you. Ah, he did? Excellent. I have my own command now, do I? Well, you can put your swords and weapons away because that's the last thing I need. So, what's your problem? Uh, yes, see this section of the wall here? Well, I can't patch it with air. Uh, really? I'm beginning to see why they made you an engineer. <laughs> you got a clever chunk on your cell sword, but if you want to earn another coin in Targo's service, you'll need to do it a lot more listening. I'm nodding. You hear me? Alright, engineer. What do you need, need to fix it? Oh, I already have the wood, I need to fix it in town, but uh, what I need is a way to get it th here to the palisade and that mule-headed merchant lumber ground will be difficult, he is one we have contracted to deliver the lumber. Yeah, I sp spoke to him already, he says the crane is broken and he fears anyone else moving the lumber out of fear that his commission will be in uh, jeopardy. Demerable humans, I can getting fists, some of them have heads as thick as dwarves. Broken crane, eh? The damn flivils was probably snapped off again. <laughs> I'm beginning to see where this is going. Well, an engineer I might be, but a carpenter I am not, and but at least not the skill of my father. Go seek out me there, Joran, at the docks. 
and see if he can help that wading pig ground will repair the grain. And I'm sure that cattle mouthed great merchant he'll still get his commission, never fear. Um, Uh, we'd rather not run all over the city paying fetch for everyone and his mother. Can you have one of the runners to go fetch him? Or oh, I, and I'll make sure he brings you a flask of Calmerian brandy and a frosted glass. Perhaps you'll be, you'd like sliver so and roll as well. <laughs> I have the wizard's magic ear up of those two. Now get going. Uh, Uh, well, since we need to go to the docks anyway, I guess farewell. Let's check this catapult. Oh, I see something. Okay. I hear punch whom spear. What's up? Here I go. Now let's head to the dog scene. things we need a hammer we need to visit the docks we need to buy alcohol and find this dwarf again okay so that must be the boy who will get us faster through the city you're one of those personalities that slaughters those goblins at the docks aren't you i wish i could have been there uh, well let me tell you we could have used a hand or two, the Targos guard were scattered like geese. I still wish I could have seen it. My name is Thomas, I'm a fair shot with a bow, but they won't let me mend the walls, so mostly they just ask me to run around every which way delivering this and that. I have gotten pretty good at covering the town by foot. I have, it's why they call me Swift Thomas. Uh, oh, all up to last you could show us the fastest route through Targos. Okay, then where do you want to go? Um, I think first we should head to to the docks. Okay. What now? That's useful. Right, is it here I go. Is there somewhere is here. It must be here. Yes. Is that him? Yes, that's your. More than once you have crossed my path, and if you're planning on making habit of it, the least you could do is uh, bring a wine cask with you, or oh, two, something I can do for you. Um, I spoke of your son Olaf at the palisade, it seems the crane broke and it needs to be fixed. Oh now, did that fat fool lump uh, sit on it? Damn that idiot, I told him how much weight that thing could send, but there is nothing to get past this, his full ears. And he's waiting like a heap. So can you fix it? Ah, if someone had had bothered to tell me the problem sooner, I could have had it fixed right quick. In fact, you could even do it. How? I keep spares, especially when the shipping grease season is in full swing. Pick this crane wheel and just set it into the crane. Should be ready to go without a hitch. All right. Thank you, your honor. Okay, next stop is um, the tavern. So let's talk to the Done. Um, so I want to sell a bunch of stuff first. The throwing axe, the spear, the battle axe. Not sure about the flail though. I need a hammer, do you have it? Throwing hammer. 
the handy ex halberd This is the alcohol, I suppose. Let's buy it. One flask. Okay. Hey, like an arrow. Love you, bartender. Something to drink. All right. Hmm, like an arrow. Good as gold. That week, should I tell him that there will be no potions? I'm not sure. Although I can give you him one myself and a potion, I think. What is it? Did they just left or what? Okay, I know him. to the town okay uh, what so first the merchant so that's how it is It's only a matter of time before some new curse get tossed in my path. Someone should be watch watching with that crane to make sure it doesn't break again. You're welcome, Lumber. Take care. Okay. Make a fool of me, will you? I'll smash you into the nail. 